go. It's a level of competition for me. Two battlers locked in a verbal annihilation, a dog fight. You bring in the bars, you bring in the, the, the word play, the attributes that make the battle brand. It's the breakdown, baby. It's the breakdown. Get your bars up. Fuck with us one night a week. You there? Yeah, I'm here. What's going on, Wayne? What's good, bro? What's good? Nothing much. Just sitting up here talking, way. talking my shit. As always, what's yeah. been good with you? You been I you just I ain't been seeing you around nothing right now. You writing? You ready? Oh man, I'm past, I'm past ready. I haven't battled for months. Mm. So you done writing? You been you said you been down for months. Yeah, I've been done. And he and he's done. How about that? Word. Mm. Hashtag broke in his mind now. Oh man. Oh man. Uh, I mean it's about time we yeah. had better it's about time we had better representation anyway. Y'all don't think so? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I got you two one in a battle, but I think you think you're sleeping on him a little bit. No, I'm not. I mean, think about yeah. it. How they, that ain't even a bro clock is right two times a day. That might be the day that he knows. It might be 1230 on a bro clock for him, and it wouldn't matter because I didn't write to My thing is I know it's promoted as a bully battle, right? Uh-huh. Right, but we just going to keep it tall. We all saw the drugs battle. Who the fuck bullying me? When do I not be ready yeah. to get it lit? I'll be ready. You can't bully me. Everybody thought the same thing was going to happen with Sway. He, nigga made old Red Crow on stage. And he looked like that with me. That's a he fact. But speaking on a drugs battle, speaking on a drugs uh, battle, what was that awkward-ass pause? Like, you had like a 20, yeah. 15 second oh, pause. Now nah, you know why? Look, 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 look. I'm going to explain it, right? I know people going to say that this whole shit is like, oh, he probably just sat down and thought of this shit, but the truth don't change. You can ask me this 10 years from now, it's going to come out the same way. You feel what I'm well, saying? Well, we thought you chose. Now, if if y'all notice, now nah, I wasn't no show. If y'all notice, right, the last quote unquote big name Brooklyn nigga he battled was Cortez. Did y'all see what he did to Cortez? Uh huh. Y'all saw when he double slapped the shit out of his legs, had that nigga looking like he had the stinky leg and shit, pocket check. <laughs> Exactly. Oh, I thought you meant in the beginning when Nunu no, said something. No, no. Okay. If you, now, if you notice how I started my battle, I told a nigga, listen, I'm a real life Brooklyn nigga. Please don't put your hands on me because every time you try, I'm slapping your hands down. I took a bus. Don't let acting tough lead to a man down. Because even before his Cortez battle, he was talking wild shit like, yo, you better know where you at. You better know where you at. I don't give a fuck about none of that. And I told him, you know what I'm saying? And he'll tell you. He hit me on the inbox like, yo, bro, listen. You a dope rapper, whatever the case. My nigga, don't touch me. If I don't touch you, don't touch me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not one of them dudes who gonna do some shit because the camera's on or for footage or because the fans want to see it. I don't give a fuck if a fan want to see a nigga put his hands in. I ain't letting nobody put their hands on me. You feel me? So I already had mm-hmm. an idea in my mind that that's why I said I think you think you could put your hands on me when you rap. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to get all that out the way. Before I say a bar, I'm about to walk in a circle through you and your mans. I'm going to move you out my way with my body weight. I'm going to tell these people you're 117 pounds. I'm going to grab your arm and I'm going to move your body. This is everything that I'm going to do, and you're not going to touch me. So when mm. I did the little pause, the pause was actually a, a stare down. But if you notice, he was looking at the floor the whole time. Right, right. That was all intimidation. That was that look at my eyes and recognize I'm not, I'm not caught. I'm not these dudes. And he looks face Word. down. Now, that I, mean, I, I'll give it. you that. Because at first it seemed like it. that. It did seem like right, that. Now, think about it like this, right? If it was a choke, right, that means that I did not have my material A1, correct? So why is uh-huh. it that after I paused, why did that after I paused, it was flawless? It was flawless. That makes it sense, though. Stumble, nothing. That was just that moment of clarity, like, yeah, look into these eyes. I don't care where I'm at. I know where I'm at. But everywhere I'm at, I bring Brooklyn with me. Oh. Yeah. Fire battle. He definitely had some fire, though. Word. That nigga Roger. 
he uh, drugs is still I, I don't know. I you know what? <laughs> Okay. Anyway, drugs is trash. <laughs> drugs is trash. I'm gonna keep it a buck all the way. He's trash. Hey, you hear what I said? I said Rod and Nice, right? Right. Now that's that's fact. a fact. That's a fact. Right. Right. Uh-huh. You ain't never heard drugs mm-hmm. have wordplay or punchline, have you? Mm. 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 Yeah. So I mean, at the end of the day, that that look. I'm trying to see. He, yeah, but that wasn't like the battle was okay. I just, I, I'm assuming that that battle you decided to write for, but maybe not so much. You know, they have been focusing more on the math battle or whatever. But this, and you won, but it was just not the best performance. But he everywhere talking about you lost, and who, who talking about I lost? Oh, drugs is all over the place talking about you lost. Oh, come on, man. You, he's supposed to say that. You know what the thing is? <laughs> People expect to get smoked when they stand across from you. So because they do good, they leave feeling like a winner because a loss to me is better than a win to anybody else. You know what I'm saying? A loss to me means nah, show. Somebody, nobody knows. Nah, he was talking different. He was like, I smoked that boy. This sad and third. All right. I, I, he all was right, talking right. heavy. It's, it's, so can I ask you a question? Then the footage drops, and then what? He's a fucking liar. I, I, I go through the comments. Then <laughs> every comment got me winning. Then well, uh, yeah, I had I you winning, say, but I'm, damn. I'm Facebook friends That's with him, and I didn't see no, nothing else said about it. I'll just say that. This is that. This is what I'm saying. You know, you got to sometimes. That's why I don't jump out the window, like. Yo, know, I just I used to do that shit. Yo, know, I just smoked this nigga because I know that I'm a, a in the room partially and on camera majority type battler because when I first started it was oh show just a bully he don't got balls like that he just be wild aggressive mm-hmm. with niggas so I started focusing more on my pen then I realized oh shit these a lot of dudes got like a mediocre pen if I put my mind to it I know that I, I'm creative you know what I'm saying I've been writing music for years you know what I'm saying ain't really no different. It's just that ain't no, ain't no tempo in battle rap, so you don't got to stick to a specific flow, you feel me? That's pretty much the only difference. I've been writing raps and rap music and R&B music and all that shit, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I just feel like it's time for motherfuckers to just recognize that I'm dope. Just uh, disrespect right. the fact that I'm dope. I'm going to show up. I, I'm talented. What the fuck? You know? And most of the time, niggas going to get in front of me, like the mad shit. Oh, this nigga, that's high for Yo, right, so fucking what? I'm a firm believer that if I could be in the same room with you, you can't be doing too much more than me because we on the stage together, nigga. Yo, fuck, what you talking right. about? At this very moment, That's we can move like a motherfucker. That's you know? facts. Now, now, and so you're, you're, I will say, you're very strategic in the way that you battle people. Like, we were just talking about um, Sharon and um, and um, Tay Rock Sharon and how... Huh. Yeah, yeah, and I, I really, I've been saying that forever. Like motherfuckers, I, I don't, you know, Shug was kind of feeling like, you know, he, he is feeling up the way I'm kind of seeing around the culture. Basically, people are mesmerized by the white boy with bars. You know what I mean? But I don't feel that way. I feel he's very strategic, and he plays yeah. to everything he's that like you say. Boy. You got to watch him. As a, yeah, as a lyricist, me, as as a, you me, know, he's witty. To me, Sharon is like a white man. When it comes to angles and strategy uh-huh. and shit like that, he's like a white move to me, bro. Like, forget the fact that he's white. If you go to his battles, he literally, he like a, a mook slash a hollow to me. He, he literally knows what to write, what to say to break you down. And all his rounds are going to coincide with each other, but he's not going to repeat the same shit over and over again. Right. Mm. Now, this is, I, I brought that up to say this as far as redundancy, as far as being redundant. A lot has gone on with you. You know, it's going to be the drug started it, you know, in the battle. You know, uh, how much, how, how much. None of that was going on. I've seen a post that you made about 
uh, what the ex, the ex girlfriend, the friend's ex girlfriend is gonna be in the building, pretty much boycotting you. How much do you uh, think? Uh, uh, I invited them. I invited them. Oh shit! Oh, I did that. Oh, <laughs> oh shit! Oh, wow. So while uh, all I'm saying is, it's, all I'm saying is it's chess. Don't be surprised you see a motherfucker standing on stage saying a whole bunch of dumb shit that ain't gonna matter <laughs> and looking stupid because that's what he wrote in cats. <laughs> that's that's where I was going with that. that. Better realize that. Oh. All right, uh, show off. There's a now, nigga. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Show up. To be honest with you, like you said, um, you saying Brooklyn is yours now. But to be honest, oh, no, Matt thinks. Who's it going to go, who, gonna go to? Cortez? Cortez been holding Brooklyn down, to be honest. Him and Steen. No, he and I know he's not going to battle Steen. Listen, listen, listen. This is my question for you, right? So Cortez mm-hmm. don't got losses in 2016? Because I don't have none. Mm-hmm. Mm. I don't have none. He don't, he don't got losses? The only, How about his only loss was Austin. Let's go further back. Let's go further back, right? Do you realize oh, that? Uh, he to be that. Oh, he said 2016. Oh, listen, both his URL returns, who was he shouting in his bars? Mm. He got, it's Brooklyn Smack. We got Brooklyn Carter. We got Show Off. Yeah, you do. Then you got the other scheme in your URL joint. Big enough show off. You know why? Because when it came down to it, I put it to you like this. I got a question for you. If I'm on URL, mm-hmm. right? Who's who's checking for Mav or Cortez? If I'm on URL. God damn. Wow. I'm oh, just asking. Shit. I mean, your honest opinion. Think about I, it. He begged for Mav. Nobody. He begged for Smack, right? He 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 he, yeah. he begged for Mad years. He begged Chilla Jones. Pray to God. Please let them beg me back on Smack. Just to get there and do that shit with T Top? Will you ever know what Matt to have wordplay? His two on two with Cortez. Every time he said a ball with wordplay, and it Cortez shouted, wordplay. I know, because you wrote that. Oh, shit. About? <laughs> that nigga called Tolo on this nigga every time he spit a ball that Cortez wrote. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. We need better representation, man. We need we need to be represented by that dude who go all over the U.S. and he's the same everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. We need that dude who's consistent. I'm consistent. Look at that T-top battle, my nigga. Bro, I had on my Brooklyn Scully watching the battle. I was about to go live toward his in his second round, toward the end of his first round, bro. And I'm like, yo, what the fuck? That nigga made me take my scully off for a second, like, you know what? I mean, I know I was born in Woodhall Hospital, bro, but, like, I think I'm about to claim Harlem or some shit, bro. Oh, damn. Ain't, oh, damn. Damn. Come on. Mm. And you can't believe nothing he's about to say. Because look at it, look. What he said when I battled Swade and he hosted. He said, yo. We got two real niggas on the stage right now. Yeah, two official niggas, yeah. We got a niggas, yeah. Brooklyn nigga on the stage right now. And I personally heard some of the material. It's about to get crazy. Oh, 20 damn. interviews online saying, yo, would you battle show off? Nah, it's a respect nah. thing. It's Brooklyn. Why are we battling? Because you think you got something to talk about now? You about to look stupid on the stage. You fell for the uh-huh. point, man, nigga. He, wait, he asked for this? You said what? He asked for the battle or you did? It was brought, no, the battle was brought to his attention. He said he was with it. So you with it? Mm. Oh, you with oh. it? Wow. Well, guess what? We did the things that we asked for in life. Because the thing is this, he got battles with niggas saying shit, but it's different when you got a real life Brooklyn nigga who outside for real that know you and the people that used to be in your circle that don't fuck with you and know everything about you. Oh my god. It's over. Oh shit. It's over. Oh shit. So this is about to be the battle of the person. It sounds like you're oh. going for the body. I'm going yeah. for the bruh. I'm not I don't want no classic to debatable, bruh. And bruh, to me this ain't no fucking bully battle, my niggas. You can't fucking bully me, bro. 
You're not going to be pushing me and touching me on stage. You're not going to be doing none of that shit. You're not going to snuff me, bro. It's, you're not doing none of that. So you got to rely on rap. So you got to rap. Right, you got to rap, right. Rap and he can't, he can't out-rap you, so. Ugh. Hell no. God damn. Think about it. When is, when is the last good match you saw? Two years ago during Chilla Jones' battle? Chilla? Chilla. Two years ago. That's two years ago, bro. Niggas done got locked up and came home since then, and you still trash. Mm. Uh, you I feel like, well, and you know what? And, uh, damn it. Damn it. You making points. You making points right now. And he I was, feel like, go ahead. He was okay. He was okay for his big kid. He wasn't fire, but he was okay. So, let me ask you a question, right? When you watch the Big K battle, right? Sit here and tell me you watch that battle straight through. Nah, that you I skipped the Big K battle. Make a phone call, go to the store. Like, oh shit, I forgot. Let me. I watched the whole battle. I, 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 I can't even front. I watched the whole battle. You ain't not uh, watching I, mean, I didn't. Nah, not hold really. on. It, it wasn't. It wasn't like. It, it, I had to suffer through it. Let's just put it that way. That shit was you, you awkward. You watched it because it was the new battle hour. I watched it because this is what I have to do. <laughs> no. <laughs> it, it, was, it wasn't I that. watched it, it because I can't be... I can't be on a show trying to talk about some shit and I don't know what I'm talking about. You feel me? So I had to watch it. And then, and then no. even that day, he lost to a nigga I beat when he was at the top of his game. At that time mm. when I battled Big K, Big K was at the top of his game, bro. He was literally at the top three, not top five. Word. Yeah, nah, that, was, that battle was more of how can Big K handle a street dude. Right. And math. Oh, God damn it. Show, you making this uneasy, man. Nah, man. Hey. What I'm doing is, shit, the only thing I'm doing is letting it be known <laughs> that there will be no election. There's no electoral vote. This is straight Debo status. Brooklyn is mine. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to carry it on my back. The only people I'm sharing Brooklyn with is my FT Dub niggas, my bro July Street. You know what I'm saying? Themes. That's pretty much it. You know what I'm saying? Make, listen, oh, make, maybe, maybe, maybe Mr. Wavy is, you know what I'm saying? He got, he got to come nah, back. Nah, that's still got to go down. I still gotta go down, bro. What, me and Wavy? Mm-hmm. Bro, he cannot, bro. He got great entertainment value. He's like a Brooklyn hitman, bro. He got great entertainment value, but I don't think his bars is like up there for real, bro. That's just mm. me. I think me and Seth would be way crazier. Or me and Adam. Oh. I still want to mm. see. I want to see you and Dougie too. We gotta get these battles with the fail in them back. Right. That's the yeah. Yeah, Dougie be talking that shit. Or oh, 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 me and, uh, what's the homie name? I fuck with this nigga. Thank God. Dude, uh, nah, nah, uh, New Jersey twerk? twerk. I fuck with Twerk. I had a feeling he was going to say Twerk. Mm. Yeah, I fuck what with Twerk. Twerk, lost, twerk got, though, twerk twerk got great potential. Twerk lost to Dougie, though. Huh? Twerk lost to Dougie, though. You think he lost that? Watch that shit back to back a couple times. You know, I'm like, ugh, twerk is choking all over the place. And you know, we go by the rules. You choke, you lose the round. Yeah. I mean, that's true. But if that's the case, then Luck lost the calico, right? Yeah. You could say that. Yeah. All right. Okay. Because uh, you a lot of people that. don't want to say that shit. Because his Lux, his third round was so powerful, it was just like, oh shit, something different. But he you could always what? say, yeah. He did what Mav did versus Rex. Rex beat Mav, but Mav third was crazy and personal, so they said Mav won. Nah. Nah. Rex got the first two rounds, bro. Clearly, yeah. But nah, I got Rex beating them both times. Nah, a lot of people saying because Mav third round was so crazy that he won the battle. A lot of people saying that. That's one of his most yeah. memorable... That's actually, that might be his, his third round versus Rex might be his most memorable round in battle rap, which is sad because look how many years ago, that was the first URL battle, my nigga. You ain't said nothing. 
more crazy than what you said the rest? Like 10 years later, my nigga? Damn. Crazy. Like, like you said, like you just said, you just said, yo, the last time we saw a good map was Chiller, right? Fact. Mm-hmm. All right. Quote your favorite ball from the Chiller battle from Matt. Oh, damn. Exactly. Okay. Damn. I will say he was impressive. I will just say he was impressive from outside of what I've seen in, uh, in with him in most battles. He was he was bombing with digs. He not, well, meaning in a good way. He was. I mean, shit. He 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 did his thing with digs. But those are the only two battles. I mean, and I didn't get a chance to see the one with dialect, so I don't know. But. Oh, no, no. That's God a damn, Joe. That was the dude from London, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, nah, nah. I ain't go front, man. That battle was trash. Oh, shit. <laughs> I ain't even gonna, I ain't even gonna front. That battle was trash. Oh. God damn it. God damn it, show. This is not. So, oh, man. So I had. So you you feel like taking some fan calls? Y'all motherfuckers know we don't play that bullshit up here. So don't get crazy because you will do. Oh, you can let anybody listen. You can let anybody call up. I, I answer any and every motherfucking question. You feel me? Hold on I one minute. You. All right. Okay. I'm gonna Let's put it. on. Seven seven three eight one eight. Hello. You're on. Hey yo, uh, uh, Wayne. I this is Preston you. from the shy. This is Preston from the I, shy. Let's go. I fuck with you, Wayne. I fuck with you, Wayne. I really do fuck with you. Uh, show okay. I, I, feel like, I feel like that was a hell of a promo that you did. That was a hell of a wrestling promo. Like, oh, nah, wasn't wrestling I'm, I'm standing up. That was a hell of a wrestling promo right there, my dude. Cause you, do you seriously think you can just run through math like that? Didn't T-Top just do it? Oh, he know T-Top. T-Top did not do it. Math choked in a couple of rounds. Like, that's not nah, like, don't like, do that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, bro, his material T-top was T-Top didn't do it that bad is what I'm saying. He bro, did. Math, he made it like material. math material was garbage. Okay, now let me oh. say this, and I'm not being disrespectful. Let me say this, and I'm not being disrespectful. Hold one ball for the T-Top battle that Math said right now. Damn, I gotta do that. Just reference and all that. All right, well, when I'm just saying, that, the, you say when he so, said I'm that shit, saying, to, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, battle, hold on, nigga. hold on, pimp, you feel hold me? on. When he said right, that shit, I wanted top, I wanted top for Lulu, but I ain't think this is what he meant. He was saying a lot of good shit. He was saying a lot of good, damn, I forgot that battle because that shit was just so tragic. But my dude, this no, money on the was- line. That's you got a different ball. That shit was right, ass. I ain't gonna lie. That shit was crazy. Quote, quote a mad ball. Look, quote a mad ball from the Hitman Holler battle. The fuck they battle? Quote one. Listen, quote one. From yeah, the that was years ago. Damn, that was a long right. time. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, All right. they battled on Just look, Juice. Look, quote a, quote a ball from the math and dialect battle that just dropped not too long ago. I ain't catch that one yet. We gonna go to a reboot. I ain't catch that one yet. What's the last math battle you watched? Last math battle I watched was Big K, and I think he was like, he ain't win that Big K battle. He definitely did. He ain't win that Big K. But you didn't beat Big K either, dude. That's what I'm trying to say. You didn't beat Big K. Are you crazy? Like, that shit he said, it's garbage, even if you was this close when you said, I was like, Lord, thank God somebody said that shit. It was like, whoa. And it came out the same out. It came out the same out like, with nigga God, denied somebody. his brother. This is my point. Everybody, listen, listen, think about this. Look, 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 chill, chill for a second. I'll let you get it off. Chill for a second. Go, look, go look. ahead, go ahead. Everybody want to focus on, look, look. It was a cute bar, but it came out the same mouth. Let me ask you a question. If you have a conversation with a person, right? And they, listen, listen, listen. If you're having a conversation with a person and they known to be a habitual liar, right? 
Uh-huh. And they say something that's a fact or, or, or that hits you like, oh, that's crazy. Are you still going to jack this shit if it came out the mouth of a fucking liar? No. He had a good bar, but it came out the same mouth of the nigga who said his dead homie wasn't his homie. I follow different rules. Me personally, right, cool. I, I can't I rock I with a nigga hey, who would say, I can't rock with a nigga who would say, yo, you my brother until you dead. I'm sorry. That's just okay, me. that was that. This is like you doing a hell of a convincing act, my dude. But still, you really I, I, think it's not you an act, just, bro. I never think you really no. Nah, I'm not. Hey, look, hold on. You really think it's that easy to run through this dude and his money on the line? That's all I'm saying. Bro, we got paid. This is not a money on the line battle. What do you? Oh, mean? it ain't. If oh it was, shit, man. I'm tweaking like a motherfucker. I'm tweaking like a motherfucker. My bad, dude. But do you still nah, he think never it's that easy? Now nah, hold on. Is no, you know, but, but that's that easy that's to beat him. him. That's the A verb and that's the A verb and Jimmy Battle that you talk. Look, look, look. Let me ask you a question. Right? Let me ask you a question. When is the last time you saw a great man? Right now, I feel like every PG nigga could beat him. This uh, nigga, you you on that same shit, Sharon? No, man, I ain't gonna lie. Bro. No, I'm not, my nigga. Like nigga, Terry, you on that listen, same go, shit, listen, Sharon? We go. All right, look, look. Numbers don't lie, right? Even if you say I lost a big K battle, right? We gonna we gonna deal with wins and losses, right? Okay, if we gonna deal with that. Let me just history. get this out the way right now. Let me get this out the way right now. You didn't win. You didn't beat J. You didn't beat J. Four hundred block. You didn't beat that nigga. You didn't beat crazy? Big K. Oh my oh, god. Yeah. That shit, oh, they, 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 no, that third, that third round, hey, that third round, that shit was crazy. That shit was crazy. Had your ass with the shook. I ain't gonna lie. That shit was. Oh, that shit was exactly, crazy. Exactly, but the was first crazy. two was was out of here. He got. Oh, he, get him off the line, Wayne. Oh my crazy. god. <laughs> <laughs> But now nah, he, he's right though. All these battles, I can't quote a math ball, but show I could quote some show off balls. All I'm, saying, all, all I'm saying is this, right? If we go and buy recent history, because it's a lot of people, most of the fiends outside was the big time drug dealers back in the day. That Back in my day, that's them niggas. That's We're, talking right We're talking about right that's now. We're talking about right now. Right now, it ain't too many niggas in battle rap that could fuck with me, period, bro. I'm the best of both worlds. I'm a real nigga with a top pin. You can't bully me and outright me. You can't do it. The only the only battles that people say I lost in are battles where I chose. That's it. That's it. Everything else is either a win or a debatable quote unquote. That's it. Let's talk about actual losses. You're gonna have to go all the way back to the bridge battle and even if you go through those comments, still people saying, Yo, that nigga show, I'm sorry, bro, he choked, but that nigga too, he crazy good, bro. You feel me? But show, I, that's that's a good reality. thing that you brung. Show, that's a good thing you brung that up. Do you think if you would have beat Briz convincingly, do you think that have been you on that stage and not him? Nah, because even at the end of the day, I had another PG after that. Still had an opportunity to be on Smack. I'm the reason I'm not on URL. My choices. Not because oh, URL damn. don't want me. Mm. Word. I'm the reason I'm not on URL. It's a re- I'm, a, I'm a real breed. I'm a real breed for a reason. You got to rock out with those that rock with you wholehearted, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's like you go work for a company. One bad, one bad showing, and you out of there. Why would I do that when RBD, when they didn't even know me like that, when I was facing 10 and 25, they was the ones getting my lawyer money up. That's facts. That's facts. Like, what you mean? Mm. Like my cool, so I my cool gonna allow you to, to be a flip side, switch side nigga. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna notice a, a lot of things. You're gonna notice a lot of people you've seen, you know, and it ain't like R B E try to say, yo, don't go over there. They want me to go over there because anywhere I go, they know I'm a rare breed. And I'm a I'm a rep to the to the end of me, you feel what I'm saying? But you're gonna notice guys you see grace the R B E stage, all of, like suddenly they're gonna be on smack, you know? And it is what it is, you know. My thing is, my character just, I got to stick with who stick with me. You know what I'm saying? So, who you, brother, so who show it. Put me in the TV series and who, who got me these commercials, these TV commercials and all this stuff that I don't actually put out there. They got a lot going on for me right now. You um, know what I'm 
And even well, if, that, that, was, that debunks my, my question, man, because I sure was going to ask, if you had the battle of your life and promo with a certain amount of money and basically you wouldn't go over to URL. Oh, no, nah, I mean, listen, I'm not going to turn down a nice check. You feel what I'm saying? Or or if we could work something out where you see a lot of top celebrities on the stage, my thing is I don't believe in battling once or twice in a year and you get a you get less money because it's the bigger look and, nigga, looks ain't mm-hmm. nothing to pay nobody bills. You know what I'm saying? That's like if I was right. mill. And I made a million of my mixtape. You think I'm going to sign with Ross if he's trying to give me $100,000? Why? When I just made a million dollars off my own shit. That's bad. You know what I'm saying? I, got, I put in work I got to build myself up. Not to take less. You feel what I'm saying? And to be seen less. Not doing, I'm, I'm not going to do that. You know what I'm saying? That's that, that me personally. I got to or, or have some kind of incentive or something. Have something where it's like, you know what? We got kids on stage. We'll, we'll make sure you get these features popping so you can be promoting this music with Kiss and all that shit while you're not on the stage to stay relevant. Right. If that's not that's if that, it got to be something. You know what I'm saying? Most people, you got people who have been on that shit like three times, they ain't made $800. i am not going mm. for that. Mm. I got another I mean, it ain't, it ain't, stand on. It ain't, no, it, ain't no shock. it ain't no shock because I fuck with, like, I fuck with the nigga bees. I fuck with the nigga smack. You know what I'm saying? I had my I had my little issues and shit. I ain't gonna get into it, but the reality is, it's just about knowing your work and standing on it. No, you don't have to settle at all because any and every league could potentially be tomorrow's URL. Battle rap is changing. A lot of different leagues are getting a lot of bigger looks. You know what I'm saying? And it's not. I want everybody to win, everybody to eat. I don't wish that on no league, but I need for people to understand that everybody that's a somebody today was a nobody yesterday. You know what I'm saying? Always keep that in mind. So that's that, and, that and I got that's bad. I got a caller, another uh, fan on that has a couple of questions. Nico, yo, can y'all hear me? What's going on? Yeah, oh, yeah, what's going on? So, uh, uh, I wanted to ask you something because I've been noticing something the last couple of years with you. Um, you've been getting a lot more of the bigger names on the RBE cards. Like last year, you had the Battle of Big K, which I do believe that you won. I thought that was a clear win. And I know Appreciate this that, year, you're starting off the year with, uh, with math. And I'm trying to figure out is this something that you're you know, focusing on to get the bigger names, or is this just a matter of you oh, nah. naturally just going through the progression of battle rap? Yeah, that's basically what it is. Because well, all honesty, I get booked all over the U.S. as a bigger name. You know, I don't consider myself in a in – in, I consider myself mid-tier about to be, like, top tier within my next three battles. I don't believe in tiers, but as far as – the tier level goes, like we, right now, me and Cortez is basically damn near the same. You know what I'm saying? As far as he, he got way more years in it, but as far as relevance right now, there's not a card that he's on I can't get on. Like me me not being able to get a passport stop me from being able to do the, 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 the KOTDs that's out of the country or and all that stuff. I've been reached out by everybody, you know what I'm saying, and even that's about to change, because I'm, I'm literally, the time is about to go where I could get my passport again, so I could do that kind of traveling, you know what I'm saying, but I really don't feel like Matt is a, a huge name to me, as far as relevance in Battle Rap right now, he, he's a trending topic because of his, or he's a trending topic because of his, his role in Respect Life. Which is not battle rap related. You know what I'm saying? As far as battle rap goes, he's a trending topic over something that's not good. And he hasn't been good for a while. You know. So me I don't consider him a bigger name. I, I consider us on even playing field. He just started first. I'm a firm believer in the only reason that he got a bigger buzz than me is because he started before me. That's it. 
Only reason that, like, take it to regular music. The Weeknd, fire-ass artist, bro. One of the best mm-hmm. singers in, in the fucking industry, you feel me? Had The Weeknd came out when Michael Jackson came out, right? Michael Jackson can't compare him to nobody. He's a legend, right? Facts. He was in a right. class his own, right? Facts. He was also the only man in his day that sounded like him. The Weeknd sound just like that nigga. Sound just like this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Now let the weekend come out with it. Even yeah, putting yeah. up the thing. You know what I'm saying? So back then it really wasn't a lot of a lot to choose from. It was like twelve battlers. You know what I'm saying? It was like twelve dudes. Like you got thousands of battle rappers now. You got hundreds of different skill levels. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, Mav, Cortez, all these dudes, all these niggas, new niggas do is double entendres and triple entendres. You right, but you adapted because your last few battles, that's all you've been doing. So mm. who's really jacking whose style? Who's learning from who? I mean, I don't know. And see, I, I, think, never, I, never, I think it's... I think it has to do with more the more the fact of the state of where battle rap is though. You have to evolve. I mean DNA said that a little while ago that, you know, you gotta you gotta kinda go into what's hot. I mean shit, that's just music even, like you just said. You gotta kinda if you're gonna do that, right? Where does the evolution mm-hmm. come from? It comes from the newer guys. This this is my point. Mm. It's not like evolution that's not evolution, that's them biting. If it was evolution, this is something they would have been doing before the newer cats got into battle rap. That's evolution when they evolve on their own. What they're doing is adapting to the newer guy's style and incorporating it to that old shit that they was doing. And then trying to downplay it when the newer guys do it. That's all they're doing. They're doing what 50 did to Ja Rule. Oh, this bum ass nigga singing on his hooks. Now all 50 doing is singing on his hooks. That's what they did. And I, uh, and I, I had a, another question too, because I, you know, ARP was on. I think it was that New Year's Eve, and he was talking um, about battlers who, you know, that they're, they're, they're of substance. Like when they when they battle, there's a lot of substance in the round. I consider you to be one of those people who, when you battle, you always have a lot of substance in the rounds, and. That's something that I feel personally is kind of lost in battle rap. I think a lot of people are just so focused on bars, schemes, wordplay, and things of that nature that they forget to just be original and put something of substance in their rounds. And so my question for you is, you know, being that, you know, you are somebody who puts that in your rounds consistently, um, do you feel that battle rap could ever get back to that? Or do you feel like, it's just going to be meant to be like people like yourself, um, be that others like that, who are just the ones who have to carry that torch for battle rap. I mean, honestly, um, I understand perfectly what you're saying, but understand this, that attribute in battle rap was always few and far between. Even if you go back to the X factors who was dope with jokes, wordplay schemes and all that, he still didn't have, he never gave you that role Talk to him, feel. It was only a select few people. Swave Seven, Head Ice, Mav Hoffa, uh, uh, who else really? Sure. Who, who else really though? You know what I'm saying? Everybody else. Rex, depending on what Rex you got. You know what I'm saying? So it was always few and far between with the, the, the kind of character, the, the, the kind of battler to be able to give that. You know what I'm saying? So now you got me, you got the B dots, you got you got you got other battlers. You know what I'm saying? And then and then look at how far battle rap came where people get clowned for it. The chess battle, where he's talking about the struggle or whatever. He became mean and a big ass butt of a joke. But everybody in their moms, if you really went through it, know what it is to cut the bottom of the two lead out be used for a cereal bowl, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So we at that we at that point now where it's like it just became more about entertainment rather than raw authenticity. You know, it became mm. more about a check than actual talent. You know, you got these dudes who get booked for the big money and they go to the battle and they freestyling whole battles or they or they or they coming with one round or you know what I'm saying? And it's like 
me being a fan of battle rap, forget the fact that I battle. Me being a fan, I'll be feeling disrespected like, like, bro, this how much you cared about the fact that because we strangers. A fan is a stranger to you. You know what I'm saying? They don't they don't have to be a fan of yours. They choose to. Because you earned that from the work you put in. So why would you not keep that work up? That's basically like spitting in somebody's face. You know, coming with half ass uh material and you know what I'm saying, lackluster performances because you cared more about the check than pleasing your fans who put you on a pedestal that you on now. You could have had the same amount of battles, but if them niggas chose not to check for you, you would not be buzzing. You know, so I really think that, like, me, B, that, a couple other cats, you know what I'm saying, the torch would have to be held like that because it ain't no different now than it was then. You and Father Tony, bro. Yeah. Uh, last thing I wanted to go ahead and put out there, man. Uh, I do have you beat Math when y'all do battle. I do think that you're going to beat him. I just feel right now Math is very unpredictable, and even if A game Math did show up, I don't think it's the same A game map that we remember that we all, you know, fell in love with back in the day. So I feel like you will win that battle. But the other thing, man, we both got the same last name heard, man. You can't make us look foul on uh February fourth. You gotta go in there and body that dude, man. The herd name needs to be upheld on that day, man. You damn right. You damn right, man. <laughs> Yeah, but now nah, I don't want to take up no more of your time, Wing. I appreciate you giving me on. Much love, Shaw. Oh, no, you hey, good. Yo, bro, you good. You still there? Yeah, yeah. What's good? Hey, yo, you sent me a friend request on the book? Yeah. Yo, no lie, bro. I dead ass nigga. You light skin, bro? I think I just saw your shit. Yeah. Yeah, bro. I'm about to accept your shit, homie. Salute to you, you heard? I'm going to uh, definitely hold down the uh, Salute. Much love, man. I appreciate that. Nico, oh, before you yeah, go, much love. before you go, let me, Nico, before you go, let me ask you this. What do you think, and, and show off, I don't know if you know who this is, but what do you think about Geechee Gotti and show off? Uh, Geechee Gotti and show off. I think personally that would be, I've thought about that matchup before. That's like a dream matchup of substance from the East meets substance from the West. Like that street talk from the East meets authentic street talk from the West. Like me personally, I had Geechee on yesterday. It's just like when I'm talking to some of these battlers and I like message them and I, you know, I listen to their rounds and their battles. It's just crazy when you start thinking about number one, when you have those who have substance, those who are actually talking about something. But then if you put them against each other, I think that would be a fire battle that RB could definitely put together. Um, I would personally, me personally, I would have to show up for that because I couldn't call that outside of just me having my own preference from the West Coast. I would say Geechee would get it, but that's just because I'm born and raised out here on the West and what he talks about is what I grew up with. But honestly, that battle could go either way because they both are dope in that respect. So I would well, definitely want to see that battle, real talk. Those are the battles I like anyway, real talk. Because the shit is still like like my homie, like my brother Jim say, man, it's not about friends, it's about competition, man. And a lot of people, that's really what's missing in battle rap right now, period. That competitiveness, that want to win. People don't right. really want to win no more. They just want to get on the stage and get through their rounds. They don't. They don't go yeah. for the kids. Uh, ARP yeah, set de- it up. Definitely. Yeah, yeah <laughs> so definitely that would be a that would be a great battle. But yeah, I'm a uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be in contact real soon. I'm about to uh, hit y'all real soon about some stuff too. But yeah, That's much love to y'all, man. I appreciate y'all having me on, man. Alrighty. So let me ask you this. I'm a, a, well, I don't know if Jay has any more questions, but we're going to wrap up here and I got to pick up my daughter. But listen, let me ask you this. Since you battle QB, who do you have uh, winning in this Ice and QB battle? Um, uh, QB, my sister, man. For real. That, that was That's my sister. Hard. Man. <laughs> and it's not even, you know what it is? Is because regardless of what you say about Arts, one thing you have to say is he's coming prepared. You know what I'm saying? 
He's like oh. one of the bigger names in the joint. Like, mind you, he may have a stumble or a slip. He may choke or whatever, but he's going to come with three rounds and shit. It's not like he's going to come with a round and a half and freestyle the rest of that shit or two rounds and just win, like, fucking, just wing it for a fucking third round or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, I got QB. Fuck you, me. <laughs> <laughs> Word up. Fuck you, me. <laughs> You be quiet. Right. That, I'm sitting here like, I, I mean, that I had to ask because I already know. I'm like, listen. Nah, not even that know, that's my sister. On some, the levels of disrespect be different. I know it's the disrespect <laughs> battle and all the disrespect was. This is we where I'm coming nigga. from. What? We told that nigga? He said, nigga said, if I could wish your uncle a second chance at life, I wish him back dead. What? Who the fuck? What? Listen, I said, so I said that shit. But being that you battle uh, both of them, you battle both of them so you know. You know what I mean? I'm like, shit. What? Standing in front of her bars or his bars, cla- them, that, that class of the Titans right there is about to be ridiculous. Oh, be my gosh. It's going to be old. That shit right there, listen, I'll put it to you like this. I think there's going to be so much disrespect flung around and <laughs> so raw, fuck your family, kids, whatever, that if it was male, male, that shit would have that shit would have popped off in the building. It's male, mm. female. And now you know what the best part about that is? That means that as QB being a woman, it's certain boundaries that she could cross and can't shit be done about it, nigga. And that can a motherfucking is. thing be done about it? And the well, shit she's like, the shit the she building. comes up with. Who says what? that? The shit that she comes up with is like, like I thought I bark on a motherfucker. QB? Listen, oh my when god! She said, what she said to me? When she said, <laughs> "Yo, the only time your dick will be in my hand is if I cut it off and shove it in your daughter's mouth." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! Was- yeah, she wagged out. She wagged out. Wait, <sighs> I don't even understand. Shit. Now you know I, get, like- I get popped in this dude, nigga. You saw me smirking. I was proud as fuck of my sister on that stage, bro. When you when you accepted that to battle her. Like I said, the, the way you the way you strategize with battles, what what was you thinking? Like how, you know, it was three days the, the battle was dope. Huh? It was like three days. We had it was three days notice. Right, but I'm saying like yeah. what what was your mind at in terms of yeah, this my sister? Hard but for me. yeah, it was right. hard for me. That's why if you notice, even in my mannerisms, right? Like I can only be myself. In real life, right. even if it's a female that I don't, I don't person or necessarily like, you know what I'm saying everybody know this about me. I, I don't disrespect females. You know what I'm saying, screaming at them and cursing them out and calling more types of shit. I don't do that shit. You know what I'm saying my grandma's raising. Me. So even if it's a chick that I don't fuck with like that, if I don't fuck with you, I'm just not gonna be around you. But if it's somebody I fuck with, that was like the hardest battle I ever had to write for. You know what I'm saying, especially like so quick. But the thing is. I really don't feel right standing across from her like bitch or I I I or, or I fuck you right now or whatever the fuck, you know what I'm saying? I'm not comfortable saying this shit though because at the end of the day, this is somebody I really got love for. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. we also got to get this battle out. So we going to get this battle done. You know? Now, had it been a female, I necessarily don't like. I may have been a little more aggressive, you know, in my performance area. You know what I'm saying? But I, I fuck with, I fuck with, uh, you know, QB the long way. You know, she's like one of the most talented mm-hmm. women I know. Mm. And she this gonna be something serious. She That's really about is. To be this shit about to be something serious. Oh my gosh! I wish I could be in the building for this. That is going to be insane. For sure. I, well, you and I already got something planned for a live interview, so y'all going to see more of me and show off just basically just talking life and everything. We're going to do, since 
my my new rebirth. We're going to do something live together. You know, we're going to have a, we'll, we'll call it some, you know, something. It won't be in a garage. It'll be in a setting, though. <laughs> <laughs> but for sure. But for sure. Well, we'll you, you are, you know, you and me going to catch up. Um, But I that's so fact. appreciate you coming on. Man, you already know what it is, man. Look, man, February 4th, man, Listed Soul 3, man, Club Drum, 85 Avenue A. You don't want to miss it. Listen, I know every battle about to be crazy. Every battle about, every um, battle about to be crazy. You got the ball battle, the will it take saw battle, the disrespect battle, the one SK battle. You got the bully battle. That's not a bully battle unless I start bullying niggas. You know? Let me chill. All right. <laughs> that that big K, that big cannon, and and Craig Lamar though. Craig Lamar, oh Craig Lamar and Jay Z. Oh my God. Oh, you, oh, you talking about you talking about like one of the most classic battles of 2016? Mm. Is that the battle you talking about? The one that has mm. like, the, like the most quotables out of yo. Know, listen, fact. Craig Lamar is crazy. Jay Z is fucking crazy. I did not even expect for them balls to be that fucking crazy, bro. Like, for real. That shit was... And then we ain't seen Big K in a minute. He just been sitting, chilling. What? King Rebut? Mm. The, same nigga, mm. the same nigga who told JC what he told that nigga? That nigga said, you'll forever... You talking about they, they both writers block. He told that nigga, you'll forever be the, the cube of the group. You'll never get credit mm. for writing all of that easy shit. I said, oh, my God. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that oh, that's going to be a battle. That's going to be a battle. Oh, my God. I got to get them on. Yeah, I got to get them on. They, they got to talk they shit. I got to get them on. Oh, my goodness. Wait. Oh, it's, it's about to be insane. Listen, oh, my gosh. Yeah, bro, but we will get up with you. Again, I appreciate you for sure. We don't, but we'll, we'll get up with you when, when you get that. All ready. Yeah, show you got to come back, man, and talk it. That's a fact. Who's all of y'all, man? Show you got to come back, man. If the fans are rocking with you, they like how you talking your shit. Hey, I appreciate that. I'm definitely gonna come back on. And not even that. We gotta get the show for the after the, the after the event. Well, you know, matter of fact, not chill because it's not special for that, you know. But look, man, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. You know, I fuck with y'all. Appreciate y'all having me on. Seriously though, you anyway? Already. 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 All right, bro. It's the breakdown, baby. Get your bars up. Yeah.